Hello everybody, today I'm going to do pozole, uh, it's a Mexican stew, but I'm going to do it just beef, so beef pozole, so you will need uh, four and a half pounds of beef for a stew, they already, uh, they already chopped in squares, so it's easy, and you're going to need three tomatoes, uh, onion, half of an onion, eight, total ten garlic, but eight is for the stew, and another two is for the salsa, and then lime for the end, another chopped onions and cilantro, just this is for the end too. You're going to need this heavy baby, it's a uh, white hamini, and this is six pounds, but you're going to use three pounds, so half of the whole thing, the can, just half, three pounds, and no, it comes with a water inside, don't do, drain the water for the stew. Then you need olive oil, and then for the salsa is the chili pot, you need chili ancho, you just need one chili ancho, it's this tiny, I don't know if you can see. You need chile morita and you need two of these ones. They're tiny. And then you're going to need one chile negro. And like I said, three tomatoes for the salsa, two garlics for the salsa, and this is for the end. The tostadas, I like the red And you can find out one more. So here it is on your local, local Mexican store. I love it. And then oregano, but that is for the end too. It's just like a pinch of oregano at the end. So let me put the meat in the, in the pot here. Okay, so I put all the meat here and the water you just want like two inches above the meat because the meat itself um, it, it gives you more uh, juice too so you don't want to be you don't want to put too much water on it so those just two inches above the meat and now I'm going to add my half of an onion and my eight garlics And I'm going to cover and put in low heat. And then when it starts boiling, you need to make sure it, that it's a foam, it will come up. And then you need to clean the foam. And then after a while too, like uh, 30 minutes after it starts boiling, uh, all the grease too comes up. And then you need to clean that, take off all that grease. So it will be more healthier. Just with a spoon, you take the top and the top and you take all the grease that you want, all, all the fat, and it will be super healthy. So, okay, I'm going to fry my chili pot. And then I'm going to, I have a hot water here that I just did it in the microwave. And then I'm going to put the chili there to rest for 15 minutes. So let me just fry them first. And you just need a teaspoon of oil, olive oil, and you're going to fry them. Uh, this is the chile morita pot. This is the one that is going to give the heat, the spicy to the flavor, to the stew. Uh, you have to be careful if you don't handle spices at all. Uh, I recommend just to use one because this one it, it will be medium hot. So for the stew, so if you want mild, just use one. Okay. So I'm going to dump it here and I'm going to fry it. Okay, I fried my chiles for like five minutes. So then I'm just going to put them in the water.
I'm going to leave them there for 15 minutes until they're soft so it's easier for um for for me to to blend them um you can put something on top of them like this one yeah. Come on. there to submerge them and um, for 15 minutes okay okay um so in my food you're already coming out the foam i was telling you so let me show you because this is the foam and um so you just take it off put it here you don't want to eat that foam and then i put a uh, one tablespoon of salt in the in the soup here. Okay. So let me pick up all the foam. Now my chili sauce are ready. I'm going to add one cup of water here to my blender. My three tomatoes. My two garlic and the chili pot. They're soft. Uh, to this one, I'm going to pick up this part of the chili. I don't want to eat this, this one. This one. Add them there and I'm going to blend it. Okay, so okay, um, this was steamer in low flame for one hour. Now, after one hour, I'm going to drop the sauce. And this, uh, remember it was just half of the huge six pounds of the can, of the big can, just half of it. Or like my family loves this a lot. I put more of it. If you like more, uh, more like a soup, you put less on these. So whatever is your preference. My family loves, loves this. So I'm going to put half of the can. Let me. Make sure it goes all the way down. Okay. Now, I'll let me mix it because the salsa has to incorporate to, to the meat. Okay. So I'm going to let it simmer uh, in low heat for another 30 minutes so all the salsa flavors and everything it goes it blends together okay i'm back after i let 30 minutes to simmer in super low heat now it's ready to eat so i'm just going to let me turn it up first and then i'm going to put it in my bowl up to you if you want more meat, more grain. I really like a lot of grain. Okay, here it is. Now I'm adding onions. 
It's up to you how much onions you want in there. Cilantro. And then it's up to you. Oregano. A tiny bit. And then don't forget to crush it. Mmm, smells so good right now. <laughs> and then lemon. A tiny bit, a few drops. And you eat it with the tostada. That's how we eat it. And here it is. Pozole. I hope you like this video don't forget to comment and all the ingredients is going to be below and then don't forget to subscribe okay i'll see you next time bye